All right, let's take a look at this here. Wolf. I think German impression is just, it's a bit slow. I think we could speed things up a bit. Arcs seem pretty good. There's some hiccups in, the, in this area. I'll show you later. It's all cool. Uh, and as you mentioned, this is just, you know, you first start, there's no polish in there, so it's all good. Um, a lot of things I'll mention you know. This is all cool to see. Uh, yeah, I like it. Um, I always like to start with the front view. And what you're doing well is when um, the wings go up, right? Look at this here. You go. The wings up are faster than the wings down, which you have. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's a common mistake that people put in. You might always get, well, you know, there could be some, some license of whatever you can do with painting on the creature. But in general, you know, because you are folding, and I think you can fold, you can experiment folding them even more. It's a horrible drawing. But, you know, maybe uh, maybe half, maybe something like that in between these two. But you could potentially fold them more. But because you fold them, um, there's less wind resistance, so it will go up faster. Versus when you go down, look at that, all of that here. That will, um, there's so much wind resistance, it's going to drag. I like that your tips are up, which is all good. It's also good that you are having them until the end. So they drag until the reversal, which is good. Um, it just feels overall just a bit almost timid. It feels like this is more like a, an adjustment glide flap. Whereas a creature of that size, to me, uh, I will go... That's a horrible tip here. But, you know, wings can go all the way down to here and then fold up like this and go all the way up to here to like a like a really really big flap and then that way you can make that you know pretty slow faster pretty slow faster just to kind of push that area so going only down to here i will go again like around this area and really really push the idea but the idea is uh, your mechanics are the same like tips are leaning and by the time it reverses then this part of the tip is dragging so that is all correct and again you can probably go a bit more and then at the very end have that big reversal but again instead of going this as your full out point here. This could easily be up here. Um, this is just me that I would do this for a full on flap. And to me, this is always a big creature. So it needs a lot of force to go with that type of flight. So that seems again, more like it's gliding, gliding, gliding and doing a bit of an adjustment, glide, 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 like an adjustment flap versus a full on flap. That would be my my probably my biggest note. Um, your tail is in one axis. You can easily have a little bit of a little bit of a, an arc in there. Um, I like that you have offsets here already. Don't forget again arcs on your legs. So as it goes goes up here, I usually bring in legs because of the drag. And then as it starts dropping, I can bring them out a little bit for a little bit of an arc. Same thing with the head. The head can have uh, a little bit of a kind of a forward drag. It depends if you're just doing a, a straight drag or overlap or a lead. So by that I mean I'm going to bring my face in there. So it could be where the drag is just kind of doing a drag, drag, or you kind of go the opposite where it's and on the flaps it's trying to lead. But either way, to me, it feels like you can do a bit of a tw twist and then tilt. So it's not just in one axis doing drag overlap, but it's kind of this and then comes up has a bit of a t tilt and twist so that's especially if you're in a leading in a leading motion you need in a drag it overlap could favor some side and have a bit of a uh again twisting rotation moment uh face out so that would be for that and then as you go into your polish you know you would start uh offsetting these and not just a global offset i wouldn't just take one side and offset by two three frames but you know by now you know depending on the force maybe this one is suddenly dragging you know there could be some sort of um frame by frame type of offsets which is just like again not just one side but you can kind of vary where um where the offset is you know and then again uh just for asymmetry you can also have i mean it's not going to be a, a fantastic idea to go crazy with a a overall body tilt but even this imagine just everything has 
that's your straight line and ever so slight tilt so the whole body and the wings even at the top position it would end up being slightly off uh, not enough to kind of alter the the flight dynamics but just off so that then the head stays somewhat put and can almost be in a in a counter rotation just so it's just more organic more um, there's more asymmetry in there that would be my biggest thing here and then on the arcs here it's okay to do an arc like this some people you know they can have figure eights um i think the amount that you have from front so back is pretty good. I think that's pretty good. If you go further back, it gets a bit too much into a holding pattern, almost a bat type flap here. Uh, I would just be careful with that seems pretty good. But then as you go down here, there's this like a uh, frame sticky, almost a sticky frame through here. Then it kind of pops back and then it kind of uh, slows down around here. Then it speeds up again and then it's okay. So just be mindful of that. And in the front view, I think that's pretty cool. Some people have it usually in too much of a default where they're back. So I like that you're going out here to give this full uh, resistance. It's good for the flaps. Um, the other thing was... It's cool from that angle though. Anyway, as you go through, let's see the tail. So as you increase the flaps, if you do, I'm just saying it could be Cool to increase the flap right so phew, on this i would have an arc that's a bit more like this where the chest part really comes up during the flap so as the wings are down the chest goes up and then it can go down as it starts dropping the reason why i would disagree with one of the tutorials that i mentioned and it's not because it's wrong it's just kind of the liberty that i'm taking just because of scale because this is so huge and this creature is so heavy if the wings are down when the chest goes up i usually put in a drag in the hips where every now and then depending on the size of the creature hips and wings are kind of in sync um i'm okay with big dramatic overlap between all of these sections especially with a lot of um, wing flaps i think the legs could be this thing, to me is going really really fast with that much drag i think you're okay with relaxing these guys just a bit more with some some asymmetry just again horrible sketches but just not so straight just a bit more relaxed i think and that way you can do a bit more up and down on the drag overlap and to make sure there are arcs so right now it feels like you're going back and forth in this manner hold on that mess here. yeah pretty much versus you know it can come down maybe on the flap it goes out this way and it comes back in and then flap out and then come back in. So there's a bit of a uh, an arc in that or a circle motion in that way where it contracts. I mean, it gets a bit more tense. And as it flaps, it might do something with drag overlap where it extends the legs. So there's a bit more involvement there. So it doesn't just go back and forth. Oh yeah, and then the wings here. At this point, I would take this shape and personally, I would bring it up so you can see the full the full drag of the wings. And that is fine. That is kind of it for now. I think that's pretty much it. You can always experiment with open closing of the mouth, depending on the on the ferocity of the of the flaps. Can all depends how strong you want it to be. Because right now this is pretty active, the up and down, and it feels more. It's an active tail versus drag overlap based on how much the dragon goes up and down. If that makes sense. So where's the guy here? Right. So that that much snapping of the tail, I would probably do if you have a cycle and it goes on for a couple times, but longer than this, and like once or twice, you have an extra like flick in the tail just because it wants to. Versus um, this feels a bit more just like regular drag overlap, but the amount feels too much given. That it only travels you know not that far up and down so you could probably keep the tail if you go more up and down with the full body bigger wings uh, but don't forget a little bit of curvature or whatever you want to do a little bit of a complexity in the overall curvature so it's not so super straight and i think that is kind of it for now it's a really really great start um those are kind of just my comments for now on this all right thank you all right, 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.